What would happen if a star near Earth suddenly explodes? Well, the nearest star to us is our Sun, but don't worry, it is not going to explode. But there's a star that has been causing quite a stir among astronomers. Its name is Betelgeuse. It's a fiery giant looming in the constellation of Orion, has captivated humans for centuries with its vibrant red hue and its prominent place in the night sky. But recently, scientists have been keeping a close eye on this celestial neighbor, noticing some peculiar behavior that suggests it might be on the brink of a dramatic cosmic event, a supernova. When experts looked at the new data from space telescopes, they were surprised by what they found. Recently, when space observatories took a closer look, they found something unexpected happening on Betelgeuse's surface. After analyzing lots of data, scientists think it might be too late to fully understand what's going on. So, what's really happening here? Has Betelgeuse already exploded? NASA is trying to be ready for whatever the universe throws at us. I believe that NASA has proven that we are serious as a defender of the planet. Betelgeuse is a massive star, one of the largest known, with a diameter that dwarfs our suns by a factor of about 1,000. Located roughly 700 light years away from Earth, Betelgeuse is what astronomers call a red supergiant. This means it's reached the end of its life cycle and has expanded to an enormous size, becoming hundreds of times larger than it once was. But what's got scientists scratching their heads is the recent dimming of Betelgeuse. Normally one of the brightest stars in the sky, Betelgeuse began to noticeably dim in late 2019 and early 2020. This dimming was so pronounced that Betelgeuse, which is typically the 10th brightest star in the night sky, dropped down to around the 21st brightest. Now, why is this dimming so significant? Well, it's not uncommon for stars like Betelgeuse to fluctuate in brightness to some extent. But this strange dimming has been a matter of debate for scientists because they do not understand what the star is actually doing. Making this ongoing discrepancy even more intriguing, scientists recently noticed something strange again on the star's surface. Recently, astronomers discovered a dipolar radial velocity map on the outer layer of Betelgeuse, which reveals that half of the star appears to be approaching us, and the other half seems to be receding. This is very strange because we have never seen anything like this in any star before. To solve this strange behavior of the star, scientists gave the explanation that Betelgeuse must be rotating very fast at a speed of 5 kilometers per second. But it is shocking for such a big star like Betelgeuse to rotate so fast. Well, the most prominent evidence for Betelgeuse's rotation came from the Atacama Large Millimeter or Submillimeter Array. But right now, most scientists do not agree with Betelgeuse rotation explanation. It's because this interpretation would have been a clear case if Betelgeuse was a perfectly round sphere. However, the surface of Betelgeuse is a vibrant world governed by a physical process called convection. We can observe convection in our daily life when we boil water, but in Betelgeuse, this process is much more violent. With the help of these new data, scientists found that boiling bubbles on the star's surface could be as large as Earth's orbit around the Sun. These bubbles are rising and falling at speeds of up to 30 kilometers per second, faster than any crewed spacecraft. So, the star's fast rotation doesn't fully explain this strange behavior of Betelgeuse. Here's another paper that suggests Betelgeuse has already reached its final stages and will become a supernova sooner than we expect. According to this new research paper, scientists have predicted that this star will be destroyed not in thousands of years, but in tens of years, or even sooner. Previously, analyzing data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and several other observatories, astronomers concluded that the bright red supergiant star Betelgeuse 
quite literally blew its top in 2019. Betelgeuse lost a substantial part of its visible surface and produced a gigantic surface mass ejection. This is something never before seen in a normal star's behavior. Our sun routinely blows off parts of its tenuous outer atmosphere, the corona, in an event known as a coronal mass ejection. But the Betelgeuse surface mass ejection blasted off 400 billion times as much mass as a typical corona mass ejection. And if this star becomes supernova, then that would certainly be exciting for sky watchers. The last time a nearby star went supernova was in 1604. Although stars explode somewhere in the universe on a daily basis, most of them are too far away to be visible without powerful telescopes. But wait, a big question arises here. If Betelgeuse really did go supernova soon, would it have an impact on Earth? Well, studies indicate that we would have to be within 160 light years of a supernova to cause harm. But Earth has suffered many supernova impacts in its history, and scientists revealed that some supernova explosions from more than 160 light years away had an impact on Earth. Scientists at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory reported in that a supernova explosion 41,000 years ago at a distance of 250 light years could have killed off the mammoth. Mammoth tusks dated at 34,000 years old were found to contain tiny impact craters, apparently produced by slightly radioactive, iron-rich grains moving at 10,000 kilometers per second velocities typical of supernova ejecta. So, perhaps the safe distance for a supernova is as much as 250 light-years from Earth. So, should we be worried about Betelgeuse going supernova? Well, not exactly. While a supernova in our cosmic backyard would certainly be a spectacular sight, it poses no direct threat to Earth. Betelgeuse is far enough away that, even if it were to explode tomorrow, the effects on our planet would be negligible. But are there any potentially dangerous supernovae within 250 light-years of Earth? Well, there is one star that could have serious effects on Earth if it becomes supernova. The white dwarf HR 8210, only 150 light years away, is hovering near the critical Chandra Sekhar limit, which is the maximum mass for a white dwarf. But as part of a binary system, it is gradually accreting matter and gaining mass. Should it reach 1.44 solar masses, it will explode as a type IA supernova with potentially devastating effects for Earth. The time scale for this may be hundreds of millions of years, but its discovery suggests there may be other potential killers out there. Life is resilient. The first living things on Earth appeared as far back as four billion years ago, according to some scientists. At the time, our planet was still being pummeled by huge space rocks, but life persisted anyway. And throughout Earth's history, it's seen all manner of cataclysms, Disparate doomsdays from supernovae blasts and asteroid strikes to huge volcanic eruptions and sudden climate shifts have killed countless life forms. And at times, those mass extinctions have even eliminated most species on Earth. Yet, life has always rebounded. New species emerge. The cycle repeats. Well, threats from space have always affected life on Earth, but we have to be prepared for what the universe throws at us.